Hey guys, welcome back to Kay's Cooking and Vlogs. And in today's video, we will be doing cheeseburger egg rolls. So here are all the ingredients that we will be using today. And they will also be listed on the screen. Before anything, wash your hands. We didn't show that, but we washed our hands. And then we're gonna chop up our onions in diced form. After dicing our onion, we put it on our pot and we throw in a little bit of oil. I would say a cart full for the amount of meat that we're cooking, which is about one third of a pack. Then we throw in our minced garlic to fry up a little bit and saute when we throw in our onions. We did have our heat up a little bit too high so I would say to put it to medium to prevent smoke. Then we throw in our onion. Then we just stir the pot until the onion and garlic is caramelized. Then we throw in our meat. As the meat is thrown in the pot, we begin to break it up because it's going to be a fill. You don't want it to fry as it is. You want it to be able to spread to multiple rolls. We stir it and we make it cook about halfway. Then we begin to put in our seasonings. When seasoning, we do not have a certain amount. You just do it to your liking. You stop when you stop, you go if you want to keep going. It depends on your intake that you can take. Our first seasoning will be a double all-purpose seasoning. And we will add our black pepper. garlic powder, cayenne pepper by choice, that is if you like spice, and we begin to stir all the seasonings in and let it cook down a little bit more, then we did a taste test. And that's when you will see we added our Sazon Tropical for a little bit more flavor. Then we stir everything together and let it finish cooking. After we did decide that we wanted to add jalapeno for more spice and crunchiness when adding it in the egg roll. So there we are, you see us taking out the seed and cutting up the jalapeno is very fine.
So here you see us throwing it in the pot. At this point, the stove was off, but we let it cook a little bit because you know, after you turn the stove off, it does take a while for the heat to go down. So here we are just stirring everything together, you know, getting it all in, all the flavors. Now here you see us making cornstarch water, which will be used when wrapping the egg rolls. Before you start, make sure you wash your hands because you will be using them. Now we will begin to start the rolls. First we put out a sheet, then we added some cheese, then we added a little bit of the minced meat on top. You can add more cheese than that, but we don't like too much cheese, so we just added that layer. You can add some on top, you can add more on the bottom. It's your choice. You don't want to put too much of everything because you want the roll to actually roll. As you can see, we put the ingredients to the lower bottom and flip the bottom inside and begin to roll it. We do it a little bit over half and then we fold the sides in and then you fold it again by choice or you could begin to put the cornstarch water and then just fold it all the way we put the cornstarch water on both sides that little triangle that you see and then we just finish rolling it up and there you see our first egg roll and then we will just do the same process over and over again for the rest of them. And here are the rolls all finished up and ready to fry. So then we're going to put on our frying pan, about three-fourths of the pan filled with oil. And we're just going to put it on fire and let it heat up. And then we're going to test it with the stick to make sure it's hot enough to fry. We will get our rolls to begin the frying process. One mistake that we did make was putting the fire too high, the heat too high. So you do want to keep it at a low heat so that it can fry thoroughly and not as fast as the first batch did which is what we did with the second batch
So here you will see us putting in our second batch. You fry them on each side for probably a minute or two. They don't take long to fry at all. So you just wanna watch them. And if you see that they are golden brown, you will turn them to the next side that I can, so that they can fry again. And if you wanted to fry a little bit more brown, you can continuously rotate them. But if you see the other side done, you can take them out. This is how we like our finished product to look. So we just begin to take them out and repeat the same process until finished. Here is the finished product and guys they look good but they taste even better so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys like this video like comment and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video